February 2nd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Um, I know we got blizzards and storms going on here in the United States, but uh, they've got a far serious condition, far more serious condition down under. Check it out. Worst fears materialize. Cyclone Yazzie morphs into a Category 5 killer. Uh, government warning. TC Yassie Category 5 will continue to move in a west-southwesterly direction during the day. The cyclone is expected to cross the coast of the Innisfail area about midnight. And uh, this is already the flood-ravaged areas down in Australia. Um, good luck, everybody. Definitely heads up. Uh, we got a 5.9 quake strikes the Alaska Peninsula. And uh, here's an interesting story. Uh, Aurora blast captured in photograph. According to the official forecast, the odds of geomagnetic activity on January 31st were less than 10%. That was good enough for um, this guy from Norway. Uh, we went out to look in spite of the low expectations, and there it was. An aurora burst was in progress directly overhead. We didn't have to wait at all. Uh, the show started right away and lasted for more than an hour with a lot more with a lot of moving green curtains and rays. The unexpected display was caused by a disturbance in the interplanetary magnetic field near Earth. The IMF tilted, opening a hole in Earth's magnetosphere. Solar wind poured in and ignited the auroras. More auroras are in the, in the offing. A solar wind stream is heading for Earth. Uh, due to arrive on February 2nd and 3rd, that's uh, today as you're watching this and maybe tomorrow, uh, the forecaster pigs chances of a ge geomagnetic activity on these dates to 20 to 35 percent, much better odds than he had uh, predicted. So that story's below for sure. Um, and again, the volcano in Japan exploded again. Um, a revived volcano in southern Japan erupted Tuesday with its biggest explosion yet, shooting out a huge plume of gas, boulders, and ash, and breaking windows eight kilometers away. The danger zone around um, Shimadek volcano was widened to keep residents safe. The largest eruption since it burst back to life last week covered wide areas in ash, shot boulders into distant roads, knocked down trees, and broke hundreds of windows, hotels, and offices. Uh, they haven't reported any serious injuries as of yet, thankfully. And the winter chaos across the globe. Heavy snowfall paralyzes Japan. Heavy snow has wrecked havoc on transportation in the area along the Sea of Japan, coast of central Honshu. The, uh, the Majo district... <clears throat> Uh, saw a record of 236 centimeters of snow as of 7 a.m. on January 31st. So they're getting a lot of snow on top of our blizzard. Of course, everybody's watching. I even heard the Weather Channel call this storm the beast. And uh, we're getting reports all over the place about that. Then they have the story, the story about the dark hole, uh, dense ionized wind stream burns the New Earth magnetic sphere. Earth changes. Um, they've got a NASA satellite capture data on 2,000 mile wide monster winter storm affecting 30 states in the United States and including Canada. And then they've got the volcano story. And over to the next page. Again, Canada blizzard warning issued for southwestern Ontario, and that's just part of the great big system that's sweeping across North America right now. Uh, hundreds more fish found dead in Arkansas River. And then they've got the tropical cyclone story. Uh, U.S. colossal storm roars through nation's heartland. And, of course, the coronal hole story. Uh, and then they've got some earthquake stories here in the states, uh, Wyoming and Idaho. 
and a cool picture with snow spirals. Uh, it's just, just the way the wind was setting in the ice and the rain. There's got some spiral designs down these tension wires. Really cool looking. And of course they've got the, um, the peace presence in the force disturbance and interplanetary magnetic field blow, blows holes in Earth magnetic sphere. Now in the RSOE today, uh, we have an earthquake in China. Uh, apparently 54,000 people were evacuated. <coughs> um, tornado in Texas, all a part of this big system. Uh, the south is getting severe um, storms weather. Um, we were hearing reports of thunder snow in the Chicago area. Um, a mine explosion in Columbia, apparently gaff build up and uh, they were complaining about um, safety measures and how 16 people are, are monitoring 6,000 mines in the country of Colombia. And what else? Da -da -da. And they're having the second major sandstorm in Dubai in five days. And that's about it weather-wise today. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. And uh, stay warm, everybody. Enjoy while you can.